Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to flatten 2D and multidimensional lists in Python. I'm going to teach you two methods to do that. The first method is going to be a list comprehension, and the second method is a recursive method. As usual, I'll post all the code on my GitHub site, and I'll post a link below so you can download the code and run it on your own computer. So I've created two lists here that we're going to use to test, list1 and list2. You see the difference here is that list1, everything inside of the outer list, is also a list. And these are all integers, by the way. Um, but there's also a third dimensional list here. 4 and 5 is, is a list inside of a list inside of a list. And list2, so that we can test it under different conditions, has some integers in the list, and also some sublists inside the list, and some sublists inside those sublists. So two slightly different test conditions so we can see how our two methods work. So the first method is a list comprehension. And list comprehensions are so useful in Python. I'll probably do another video just on list comprehensions. I've done one some years ago, but uh, I want to update that with some new material. But anyway, the list comprehension method is clean and simple. And we're going to set up a function. And we're going to pass in a list to that. I'll call it my list. There's a single line of code for the list comprehension. We return i for j in my list for i in j. Now, that sounds a little crazy, but it's really just nested for loops. This for loop, we're iterating through the items in my list. And then the other for loop, we're iterating through the items in that sublist j. And then what we're returning or adding to this new list that we're returning is i, the item inside the sublist inside the list. So that is the first method. That's pretty straightforward if you've seen list comprehensions before. Uh, that's a nice solution. I have two lines of test code here to test both list1 and list2 with this method so we can see how they work. But I can already tell you I've tested list2 and comes it out because we had an error. It's not able to iterate through integers. So that's the problem here. It, can't, it doesn't like this. It doesn't like an item that is just an integer inside the outer list. So it can't handle that. But it does work quite well just iterating through where every item inside the outer list is also a list. So it handles this nicely, with the exception that it, it only flattens one layer of lists. So it doesn't flatten this second tier of lists. But let's save that, and actually I'll show you the run output. So when we do flatten method 1 using list 1, you can see that the inner nested list, 4, 5, is not flattened. But everything else is. It handles everything else nicely. So that is a very nice, clean, simple way to do it. And if you only have one layer of sublist, this will work perfectly. But let's take a look at the second method, which is a little more complicated. But it, uh, in some cases, it works better. So the recursive method, we're going to define flatten2. Again, we're going to pass in my list. We're going to create an empty list, which we'll call the flat list. And then we'll add items to it as we iterate through. And when we're done doing what we're going to do in here, we'll return flat list. So we're going to start out with a for loop. And for each item in the list that we're passed in, we have two cases. As you know, in a recursive method, you have a base case and a recursive case. So first, we find the recursive case where we're going to call the flatten2 method again on the item. And why would we call flatten2? Because the item that we found inside the outer list is also a list. So that's our test for the recursive case. If is instance item list. In other words, if the item that we iterated, we're, iter we're uh, currently looking at inside my list is also a list or a sublist, then we're going to extend the flat list by calling the recursive method of flatten2 and passing that item in. So it'll break that down as well. So that is the recursive case. And then we need a base case where, well, we just have an item, right? Where, where it's just an integer or a string, let's say. In which case, we just append that to flat list. And that's it. So we, we iterate through the list. Um, one time, but recursively 
So if there are lists inside the list, we're going to continue calling, making recursive calls to flatten2. And that's it. So that's a pretty nice, simple solution, recursive. It's slightly more complicated, I think, than the comprehensive method. However, it handles multiple layers of lists, sublists. So we're going to use basically the same two uh, function calls to test it with, list1 and list2. And we're going to call um, flatten2 on those. So let me save that. We will run those. And you can see that the result in both cases comes out very nicely for both lists. So in other words, if you have a single layer or multiple layers of sublists, uh, or if you even have integers as some of the items in the outer list, that works too. The recursive method is more robust. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.